this is a video for the home caravan mechanic if there is such a thing and behind me I've got a Dometic cassette toilet with a problem so this is the model I'm not sure what model number it is but if yours looks like this it probably is pretty much the same kind of job that we're going to do today the problem with this one is that the float has actually failed and when we say float this is the float that's failed and the idea is when the toilet gets full it shouldn't flush anymore so then you get a warning light to go and empty it the last thing you want to be doing is filling up a toilet anymore when it's already at that limit so if we look at the float what's broken can you see there there is a lug like there that's broken off so that should latch in to give you that kind of action inside the toilet it's very flimsy plastic and you might be wondering well how did it break now we're all guilty of this I think over time we put our blue toilet fluid in here when you're up at the LSAM point you stand up and you give it one of these up and down vigorously shaking it and what you end up with is that part inside here eventually with the weight of it snapping itself off now that online is between 25 and 50 pound so bear it in mind so what tools do we need? what we'll need is some spray, some anti-vax or some surface cleaner this one is actually good for coronavirus but I don't think there's coronavirus in this one today we don't do number twos in that either baby wipes you may need some silicon grease to put around some of the parts that we're going to take apart and here is the spare part with the two lugs as you can see so it should be quite a simple fix and I hope that this video helps you so first things first how do we get this apart to get inside let's push that clip there which releases that we've now got some more leverage to work with the next thing I'm going to do is apply some pressure down and twist it that way a quarter of a turn and then this should now lift out so if we have a look close up one more time on some cassettes you may have a one and a zero so you know if it's in line with a notch but on this I can't actually see one so clamp it down keep hold of here there you go quarter of a turn and whilst we're at this stage we might as well have a look at other parts so if we turn this this is what allows the water inside to come out if we turn this to there at the certain position it should just come out it's all locked in on lugs there and as you can see there's silicon around there there's an o-ring along here to seal things off nobody wants to be going in there if they can help it and it's a dirty job and someone's got to do it so let's give things another little clean go inside clean things out for the next stage so what we'll do now we'll go and have a look inside and just see where this float fits in it should be a simple click and in and that's it done so here we are now inside the cassette toilet looking up at the housing where the float will locate into so there's the old one here's the new one got a part number on there 44500017503 and there should be a magnet in there which allows the unit to know when it's full and just looking at the parts here you can see where that lug has broken off and there's a piece there that's the good one just looking at the design of this because I'm not sure which way it fell out an educated guess would say that this flat side would go on the inside of the cassette toilet so it's got a nice flush face along there because this is some kind of tapered edge so it's that edge there I'm going to put it in here that way because this is quite um, a brittle flimsy piece of plastic I will put some silicon grease on there it's probably overkill but I don't want to be damaging that as I slot it back into place so at least it's got some reduced friction now when it goes in Oh, 
obviously proving to be quite a tough job because I don't want to break it and it's not going in as easy as I thought it would do. Well, it's in now, but if you go on the caravan forums, a lot of people do struggle with which way it goes. Is the magnet up or down? They say the magnet should be down, but at the end of the day, this is flimsy plastic, and to get it in there, in my opinion, you've got to put too much strain on it. Yeah, it went in, but when it goes in, it goes in with a click and a snap, and you think, oh my God, I've just broken that lug, but I got it in in the end. So if you are going to fit one of these, you're going to get it in at one angle and twist it and up, and it will slot in but make sure you lubricate it inside as well to try and take away any chance of it binding so that's how we do that so while it's like this what else can we do what maintenance can we do so I've already given this part a nice clean the next thing I always do get some more silicon grease and apply it just around there around the seal maybe a bit around the lugs and that can go back in there like so that's a nice fit. Give that a nice wipe out and we'll put a smear of that along there. And then put that back in there. That's nice. Finally, anything in here, while it's out, you might as well give it a quick clean. This is relatively new, so the seals are all good. We know there's not a problem with the seals, but around that lip there, we'll put some silicon. I'll just put a smear around there. And the idea is you're looking for these lugs here. That will line up. You see how you've got big ones here, and that small one there is your key. So wherever the small one is, we'll give you the locator. So I've got a small lug there, a small lug there, a small notch. You want to make sure it's fitting flat down and then that's it. So while we are here, again, on that seal, just put a bit around there. Okay, I hope you found that useful. I've just found out this is for a Dometic CT4110 cassette toilet. Um, it might be nice at some point to see if we can repair that and save ourselves 25 quid. Anything's possible, I think, and you could probably make it stronger than the original. I'll probably look at notching all that away, all that away, and using that inner body there and going straight through with um, probably a 3mm dowel screwed. Anyway, thank you for watching. Well, if you go on the caravan forums, there are people saying they're a, they've got the reservation. Oh, I can't speak. I get this a lot. I can't say what I've got to say. I, I can never think what I've got to say. Well, it's in now, but if you go on the caravan forums, a lot of people... This is a video for the home caravan mechanic. If there is such one... And if now nobody wants to go in there if they can help it, but I'm working on the fact that normally this is your own we.